I gave my niece a laptop on her birthday and she screamed at me because it wasn't brand new. What's the most ungrateful thing you see someone do? I always wanted to believe that this type of behavior only happens on television. I mean you are getting free crap. How can you not like that? I get socks for Christmas and I get freaking excited. Freaking free socks man. It is physically impossible to have enough socks. A couple years ago a friend and I were driving across the country in a big moving truck full of my mom's furniture. We had been on the road for about 18 hours on the second to last day of the trip and stopped at a rest stop to stretch our legs and use the bathroom. Sitting at the rest stop late at night was an entire family, mom, dad and two young kids in their car which was obviously broken or otherwise not working. Feeling like I should try and help I asked the father what was wrong and he told me they had run out of gas and just needed to get to the next town which was about 40 miles away. I couldn't leave the rest stop with that family stranded so my friend and I got back in the truck and drove the 40ish miles to the next town. Bought gas and a can and drove all the way back in our huge moving truck. The whole trip back and forth took us about an hour and a half and by the time we got back to the rest stop we were both about to pass out. Well, the family was still there waiting and I hopped out to give them the gas they needed so badly. I handed the can to the father and he looked at me and said I would rather have the money. This caught me off guard as money wouldn't help them get anywhere but it was then that it dawned on me that he never wanted gas to begin with and probably had some in the car. He was just fishing for cash and using his kids as a bait. I felt really bad for the mom as she was just looking at me the whole time with this expression of I'm so so sorry. I was at a loss for words since the dad didn't even want the gas we had just driven for over an hour to get for them. I just set the gas can on the ground, got back in the truck and left feeling like a giant idiot. Cousin gave my son a broken PS2 for his birthday. I fixed it, just needed to clean the optic on the player. Then the cousin asked for it back. I delivered a pizza in a low income type apartment complex. Total was $18 something and she handed me a $20 rolled up and told me to keep the change. I turned around and started walking down the stairs back to the parking lot while unrolling the $20 to put in my wad of cash when I find a $100 wrapped up inside of the $20. Immediately I turned around and went back, knocked and said I don't think you meant to include this inside the 20 as I extended my hand towards her with the $100 bill in it. She instantly started screaming at me about how she did and give me no hundred dollar tip and that I'm lucky she doesn't call the police. Slammed the door, then called to my pizza shop to complain. I told the manager the whole story. She was put on the do not answer list. Crazy lady. When we were very young we were very poor. My sister's birthday was coming up. I think she was about 7. There was no money to buy gifts but my mother had a small piece of white satin cloth and a box of tiny little pearl beads. She hand sewed this beautiful little wedding gown for my sister's doll and sat up night after night hand sewing these tiny little beads on the dress. When my sister was given it for her birthday she threw it across the room in disgust, saying I don't want that it's my old dolly. I'll never forget the heartbreak on my mother's face. Reading that broke my heart. My son was 6, and was really into trains. He had a fantastic wooden train set with all the bells and whistles, and he and I spent hours putting it together in different ways and playing. But he kept begging for an electric train, begging and begging. I told him not until you're 8. Well, that Christmas I decided to surprise him and I put together a small electric train set on a 4x8 piece of plywood. I couldn't spend exorbitant amounts on it, but it was a nice oval with a split off that went up and over the main track and rejoined. A couple of engines, a few cars, some simple trees and a crossing with lights. It wasn't much, but I spent hours putting it together after the kids went to bed every night. Christmas morning comes, all the gifts unwrapped, and I tell my oldest, there's another surprise for you downstairs. He ran down and found the train and his eyes lit up. He was so excited. I showed him how to work it, then went upstairs briefly to help pick up. 10 minutes later I'm coming back downstairs to play with him and the train set, and he's walking up the stairs. He looks me in the eye and says, it's kind of boring, and walked past me. Yeah, I admit it. I freaking cried. A girl in my high school received a used car on her 16th birthday. She was unhappy with the fact that it was used, 
three years old, so she intentionally totaled it. Her thinking was that if she totaled this one her parents would have to buy her a new one. She didn't get a new car, and had to ride the bus. I knew a girl who did that, too, except with a nice little ranger. It was a couple years old, but had all the bells and whistles, except for WD. That wasn't good enough for her, so she wrecked it intentionally. She fractured her neck and had to walk around with a cervical collar for a couple months. And then her parents bought her a piece of crap 1980-something Ford Escort. I used to work for a local car dealership. I was selling the cheapest car on the lot to her dad and his daughter. It was a 2000 day woo for $3000. She was so excited to have her own car and it was what her dad could afford to buy her. At this same time another salesperson was selling a brand new Eddie Bauer Explorer to her dad for a present to his daughter. As I was presenting the day woo to the new owners the daughter of the other dad comes in to see her new Explorer. She starts throwing a crap fit and yells I didn't want an Explorer. I wanted an Expedition. I was really proud of the dad of the Explorer as he walked back into the finance office. He changed the deal. He corroborated with the guy buying the day woo and switched the names. So the girl crying over her Explorer now had a crappy day woo and the girl who was really grateful to have a car ended up with a fully loaded paid off Explorer. I would never have believed it if I had not been the salesperson. That is an outstanding story. Total respect for the man who could afford to buy a perfect stranger a good car. Hope his daughter finally caught the drift. When I was 15, a girl in my driver's ed class turned red and stood up. She put her hands to her throat, couldn't make a sound. Her eyes looked crazy. She was choking on a piece of candy. Everyone looks for one beat, two beats. I'm like, what the heck and I stand up and walk over two tables and give her the Heimlich. On the second attempt, the candy flies out like 10 feet like in a movie or something. She starts gasping and bawling. It's a big scene. She thanks me. The next day at class when our parents are picking us up, she is walking down the hall with her white trash mom. They walk up to me. I'm expecting a thanks from the mom or something. I've never seen this woman before and as she gets close she starts yelling. What did you think you were doing? You aren't a doctor or a nurse. You could have broke her ribs. You're lucky I don't get a lawyer and sue your family. I still might etc. etc. Valentine's Day, 2004. Now, I've never given two shoots about Valentine's Day, but my girlfriend at the time had never been in a serious relationship and wanted a special Valentine's Day. I was more than happy to oblige. That day, I went to the local nursery. Flowers, not babies where I used to work and bought two dozen red roses and grabbed an unused delivery invoice. I still had the uniform, just a t-shirt and hat, but enough to make me look like a legit delivery person. I then spent my entire paycheck on gifts for her, and food for dinner, everything, balloons, decorations, red and pink cutsy crap, and several expensive gifts including an iPod and a new camera. I went back to her house and decorated everything transforming her kitchen and living room into what looked like a display at the mall. I even did the rose petals on the bed thing, because I was sure my efforts would lead to a romantic evening. I looked up her class schedule to figure out where her class was, we had different majors, and proceeded to burst in, pretending to be a delivery person. I gave her the roses and a teddy bear in front of her entire class, even going as far as making her sign the fake delivery invoice. It was her last class of the day so I knew she'd be heading home. I raced out of there so I could get there first change and start cooking dinner i got there maybe 20 minutes before she did and everything was going to plan she was upset when she walked in the door why didn't you wait for me after class she asked i told her i wanted to start dinner before she got home and finished decorating the house oh i really wanted to go out to dinner tonight can we go out to dinner i explained that i was going to make something special at home and had in fact already started cooking she looked at the table full of presents and the house full of decorations and just sighed. Disappointed. I really wanted this to be a special Valentine's Day. Just this once. I was really hoping we could have a special day together but I guess not. TL. DR. Spend $800 on Valentine's Day. Put on a great show. And it wasn't good enough. Never again. Straight man here. If you promise to put that much into a Valentine's Day. I'll date you. TL, DR, 
Guy buys daughter a horse and other stuff. Daughter flips out over a dollhouse so Guy takes everything back. Spoiler. This is one of my favorite stories of instant justice. My mother's friend threw his daughter a birthday party. This was fairly affluent family so she got a big party with all of her friends. And this girl got a lot of nice stuff. She got dolls. A dollhouse. Various toys. And a freaking horse. With all of the riding gear and the promise of lessons and everything she could ever need for the horse. This brat got what millions of little girls all over the country dream of. And you know what she did? She flipped the crap out because it was the wrong dollhouse. She got a horse and she threw a huge screaming temper tantrum over the enormous dollhouse. Now I shall digress a bit and tell you about her father. Her dad came from Africa to the US as a refugee. Most of his friends and family were killed. This guy competed in the Olympics and worked his butt off to become a doctor of some kind. As one might expect, this guy did not take kindly to his daughter's obvious lack of appreciation for her privileged lifestyle so he cut that crap right out. He cancelled the party right then. The guests still got to eat cake and keep their party favors on top of an apology for his daughter's behavior, packed up all the toys and took them back to the store. He took the horse back and grounded the crap out of his spoiled kid. I have quite a few I could tell about my little sister. I'll stick to two. My mom bought her numerous laptops, iPhones, and cameras on the condition that she take care of them. Everyone was broken in a month or two. Bought her a $900 digital SLR she knows I've been coveting for years, because my sister claimed she was going to take a photography course at school. Got the camera, bitched that she didn't get any other presents, used it for a day then let it sit around for 6 months. She uses it now for pictures on her Tumblr. But she told my mom she never intended to take a photography course and she can only use the dang thing on auto. For Easter I spent a couple hundred dollars buying her tons of Hunger Games stuff and random stuff for an Easter basket because I stupidly wanted to do something nice. I just pick up random stuff over the course of a few months that I thought she'd like. She was upset that my mom wouldn't be doing baskets anymore because she's 15. She threw a tantrum after she opened everything because Easter sucked because we wouldn't hide Easter eggs for her or hide plastic ones filled with money like her friend's parents did. She's 15 for fuck's sake. I haven't gotten her a dang thing since. I bought my mom a MacBook Air to pay her back for years of caring for me. And my sister threw the biggest tantrum ever. She clawed at my mom's face and tried to steal her car because it wasn't fair that my mom got something nice for the first time ever. Literally. Ever. My sister has since accidentally broken her laptop hoping I'd buy her one too. Not going to ever freaking happen. God. That turned into an epic rant. She clawed at my mom's face. Dude I think you're gonna have to get her put down. My older sister Amanda is extremely spoiled. My dad practically worships the ground she spits on. Well she's 9ish years older than me so of course she was able to do more things. I used to help my mom at a restaurant every day from when I was 5-8 years old. Because I was so young. People would give me tips throughout the day. When my mom's shift ended, she would walk me next door to the bank and I would deposit my earnings. By the time I was 8 I had a little over $800 saved up. May came around and my sister was going to, to turn 17. For her birthday she wanted a crap tons of hair styling stuff and makeup. Well my father had other plans. He convinced me into letting him borrow my $800 plus and combined it with his $500. He then went out and bought a cheap car for $1000 and used the other $300 ish for seat covers, new tires, a new stereo, etc. The 5th of May, we gave my sister the car and she threw the biggest beef it ever. She wanted nothing to do with the car, so she sold it for $700. Dad got his $500 back. Amanda got 200 to spend on hair crap and I got nothing back. Just a be out from an ungrateful jerk. My spouse used to have an old Mercedes E-Class. It was like a 1995 or something. He wanted to give it away to my little cousin as a first car. Because it was safe, reliable, and my little cousin's parents couldn't afford to buy their kids anything big, like cars. So we gave her this car and she freaks out. Much like your niece did. 
and started going on about how we were going to go out and buy a new one and she wanted a new one too. So my spouse took the keys away from her and gave them to her older brother, right in front of her. The reason we didn't give it to him in the first place was because he had an old Honda that he had paid for himself. However, it was falling apart and needed a lot of work to keep it safe. We even volunteered to pay for his insurance and his first year of college just to spite his little sister. That felt real good. We haven't bought my female cousin anything in over 3 years. We don't even send her a birthday card. If you act like that when someone gives you something you clearly aren't worthy of anything. I think your actions of taking the laptop away and selling it were completely justified. Good on you, sir. I helped my workmate move house, hung over after far too much tequila. I moved all his crap, his boyfriends and his roommates basically by myself as he was useless. It took almost 12 hours. The W didn't even buy me a beer, food or anything all day. Then fobbed me off when I asked for help to move. Then had the nerve to ask for help when he moved out. Well, this is embarrassing. When I was a kid I was hope sick from school one day. My mom told me she'd go rent a movie for me to watch, expecting a cartoon. I got really excited since I loved cartoons, and back then they were seldom on TV. She came home and had brought a live action film. I was so disappointed I cried and yelled for a while, and said I didn't want to watch it. She was like fine, I'll watch it on my own when she started watching it I pretended not to watch, but I couldn't help not watching it. Turned out it was the best movie I had ever seen. It made me both appreciate live action films and convinced me my mom always knew what was best for me. The movie was Back to the Future. OP buy the shell for an expensive laptop and replace the specs with the shittiest things ever. Like 256 millibars RAM and a 10 GB hard drive. From what I understand, she'll never figure out and you'll have a good laugh. Windows 95. Don't forget Windows 95. When I was in Jamaica on vacation my family and I decided to go to Dunn's River Falls. This is basically a small waterfall you can climb up with the help of the locals who work there. When we got to the top of the falls, one of the locals was collecting tips for all the workers. My sister handed him $5 US currency. The guy took the bill from her looked at it with disgust said that's it and no thank you and then proceeded to hand it back to her. We were all in shock because everywhere else we went in Jamaica all the locals would be so happy when we gave them more than $1 tip. I work for a NFP and we will have cookouts for people in poverty. They complain so hard that we buy generic soda or don't have good cheese for their burgers. One time we gave away thousands of pairs of shoes in the city. The what is this crap s outnumbered the thank yous about 20 to 1. This from people who came without shoes. It's mostly my sister who does these things. My stepdad takes us out to his house in Pennsylvania for weekends. It's awesome. He cooks for us. He lets us swim in his pool. He lets us watch TV on his massive TV WRTB HDD full of HD movies. He pays for the tickets to and back from the house, upwards of $150 every other weekend. And meanwhile afterwards, my sister complains and makes a big scene that we can't take a $50 cab ride home instead of just taking the train from Port Authority, NYC. She does this every weekend. One weekend we got home and she sees her new bed that my mother bought her, the one she asked for. As soon as she saw this new $300 bed, she began complaining that she didn't like it and threw a hissy fit. My mom had enough and ended up beating her butt verbally. I love my family. A co-worker whined that her grandmother gave her a silver necklace for her birthday when she knows I only ever wear white gold. I laughed and told her that when my grandparents were alive I only ever got a birthday card and that stopped when I started high school. But the co-worker only got more defensive trying to get me to sympathize with her situation. This co-worker is actually a lovely person but has lived a very sheltered life. I made Christmas stockings for my then GFs, now wife's two teenage children. I spent hours finding little specialty candies, little toys they'd like, makeup, etc. I tried to make them outrageously nice stockings and happily spent about 200 bucks on the two of them. On Christmas morning they spent about 2 seconds looking at them, judged them unworthy and then just cast them aside. The boy actually stepped on his at one point, breaking one of the toys and did not care. 
to this day I think he did it on purpose. It sort of ruined the whole making Christmas nice for the kids mood for me. They are adults now and I guess the fact that I still remember that scene points out how petty I am. But still, you asked, that I definitely could not afford at the time. You were a good person to marry the woman even with those little monsters in the deal. My mom always spends the same amount on me and my siblings for our birthdays. Last year, I was the only person to ask for something specific, so my mom got that for me plus 25 bucks. My brother's birthday is 2 weeks later, and she gave him 50 bucks, equivalent to what she spent on me. He actually complained that she didn't give him more, this being after he hasn't gotten our parents anything in years for birthdays or holidays. So this year, he didn't get anything from her and wondered why. Times were very tough the last few years when I was living at home. My dad worked two jobs, my mother worked, I worked, and my brother worked. We all helped to pay the mortgage on the house and the bills. We all worked to save money and cut costs here and there, but still lived a pretty nice lifestyle. One day my father was talking about defaulting on the mortgage. I pushed even harder to save money at that point, and pretty much gave my entire paycheck each week to assist. I explained to him we need to get rid of things we do not need. He likes to provide us kids with all we want, so it does not come naturally to him to cancel a $300 cable internet bill. He does not want to affect us kids. I told him it had to be done. We would drop cable and get a super slow internet for $20 a month. My sister walked in the room. 20 years old, never had a job, sits around the house all day, has done less chores in her lifetime than my brother has done in a day, and be and screams about not cancelling cable. It is the only thing she has left to do all day. I calmly explained to her that we cannot afford it and we do not have a choice. She stands her ground. Not that her opinion mattered in the discussion. I grabbed the cable boxes and returned them that day, and had the iNet dropped to the cheapest they offered. Ten years later to this day my sister is still the same exact way. A firm but fair father. A loving but firm mother. Two hard working sons who have paid for everything on their own. No debt whatsoever. And then her. Swapping between welfare and living with my parents. Complaining every step of the way. No appreciation on her part that I have ever seen. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.